Welcome to today's video. We are in Christy's kitchen. No, I'm kidding. Um, but we are at the house in the kitchen and these are some of my favorite videos. It's been very, a lot of you guys have requested on my Instagram, on some of our other YouTube videos to share more recipes. So I thought it was the perfect time to share with you one of my favorite fall recipes, pumpkin spice muffins. I love pumpkin spice everything. You guys will see me drink it with my coffee. If there's bread, muffins, whatever it is, pumpkin spice is my go-to. And I look forward to when the weather starts changing and here in Columbus the leaves are finally starting the cooler mornings are here and so I'm excited to be able to share this recipe with you it doesn't require a whole lot it, it doesn't require a whole lot but it does require a little bit more than some of the other ones I've showed you but it's definitely worth it so I'll kind of take you guys through what you're gonna need and then I'll take you through the recipe so first let's kind of go through these ingredients the first thing I have is protein so these muffins are gonna have awesome, healthy ingredients, and they're gonna have a lot of protein to them, which makes me feel a little bit better about eating them. So I have the level one pumpkin spice latte protein. You could probably use a vanilla protein and just use pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice. It just might not be as pumpkin-y flavored. So I like to use this. Then from there, I have a pumpkin puree, which is gonna puree, puree, however you say it, um, but you wanna make sure it's pure pumpkin. From there, for my like flour-ish, I use a Kodiak cakes buttermilk mix, which also is gonna have protein in it, and it's gonna be made with some whole grain, whole wheat flour, so that's really good. For me and Pat, we don't do much dairy, so we used almond milk. You could use whatever milk of your choice. And then from there, you're gonna need baking powder. That's what's gonna give it that muffin-like texture, followed by some cinnamon. You could use nutmeg or pumpkin pie spice. It's really not much. It's gonna be about a half teaspoon, so you could do optional on this with some vanilla, some eggs, and then the only amount of sugar is gonna be two teaspoons of whatever sweetener you want. I like to use stevia, so this little packet holds two teaspoons. So then the final optional piece, which to me is not optional, it should be required, is dark chocolate mini chocolate chips. It's just gonna make it taste delicious and also give you a little bit more of that sweet treat feeling, even though there's not a whole lot of sugar and everything's pretty healthy. All right, I know that was probably a lot for you and you might be trying to take notes and remember exactly what I said, so we'll make sure that we cover that in the description and we'll also put it on the end of the video. Make sure, if you like these videos, go ahead and smash the like button now. It really does help our channel and that way we can keep bringing you these videos and sharing things that we love. But before I forget, what I wanna make sure is we just went through all the ingredients. Now is the most important time, preheat your oven. I already did it, so I preheated my oven to 350 degrees, so that way it can be warming up and heating up while we're mixing our ingredients to get bleh, while we are mixing all of our ingredients together so when they're mixed and it's ready we don't have to then wait for the oven to preheat so go ahead and do that from the start so it's ready as soon as you're done combining all of the ingredients so the first thing we are going to start with is there really isn't a specific order you just want to make sure that everything blends well together but i like to do it in a specific order so i like to start with my dry ingredients first so i'm going to start with two scoops of my level one pumpkin spice latte protein i also linked this in the description i've not found another pumpkin protein that i love so if you guys are interested in pumpkin and you love pumpkin as much as i do definitely check out that link in the bio but two big scoops i like to make sure it's nice and full of the pumpkin spice latte protein then we are going to add one cup of our Kodiak cake buttermilk. They do make this in chocolate. I've never tried it with the chocolate, but the buttermilk is the way to go, if you ask me. I guess I shouldn't say that until I've tried the chocolate. Um, so we'll add, see if I can make it nice and even, one cup Kodiak cake. So those are most of our dry ingredients. So we're gonna set this aside. So move these guys. Then we are gonna add one cup of whatever milk of your choice. So I've chose unsweetened almond milk. It's what I like to put in my coffee every morning. And I think it works really nicely as a milk substitute. So one cup. Then we're gonna do one cup of our pumpkin. And again, we don't want a pumpkin pie mix. We want pure pumpkin. So just make sure that you have the pure pumpkin. Let's get a little spatula. My smiley face spatula it always makes me smile. Um, that was actually a wedding gift because people know how much I like to bake. So we're gonna do one cup of our pumpkin and dump that in. And again, there is not really a specific way or order that you need to add all of the stuff. You just wanna make sure you add all of it and you don't forget anything. So we'll set that aside. From here, we'll go ahead and add our two eggs. 
So any eggs that you want. I use large eggs. See if I can get no shells. One egg. Two eggs. All right, so set those guys aside. And then from here, I gotta get my teaspoon. All right, so once we've added all that, now we're gonna go to our baking powder, not baking soda. Make sure it's the powder. It's gonna make it light, nice and fluffy, so give it that muffin-like texture. So we're gonna add two teaspoons of our baking powder. It already smells delicious, I can't wait. But I love pumpkin, I wait all year for pumpkin season. Then we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon, looking good. All right, I'm a cinnamon lover too. I love cinnamon, so adding cinnamon to my lattes in the morning is always, it's just delicious, just topping everything with, I put it in my oatmeal, but we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. There we go. And then I am gonna do about, let's do a quarter of the pumpkin pie spice. So really it's supposed to be about a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Um, but my protein has pumpkin spice flavor. I've got cinnamon, and I'm not a big nutmeg fan, but I, this has a little bit of it in there, so I'm just gonna do a quarter teaspoon of that pumpkin pie spice. That's gonna go a long way. Then the last piece that we need is our sweetener. So out of all of this, there's not two cups, three cups of sugar. Sometimes you see banana bread muffin recipes, and it has tons and tons of added sugar. This recipe does not, and that's why I love it so much. So we're just gonna add that in there. I keep the packets. You could buy whatever sweetener you want, um, but I just think they're super easy to go to. So now that I've added all of my ingredients, except my chocolate chips, we're gonna go ahead and mix this till it blends well together. All right guys, fall is coming. So as this mixes, I just wanna let you know, Pat and I will be bringing you some more recipes. A lot of you guys asked for more than just desserts to see what we eat on the regular basis. So with that coming, we'll be bringing you one of our favorite chilies. Um, we have a butternut squash soup that we like, meatloaf, all of these good things that we don't eat all summer long that we're gonna start working back into our meal prep and our meal planning. So be sure to share those with you. If you're excited or if there's anything you wanna see, please comment below. This isn't quite mixed yet, so I'll turn it back on. All right guys, so I just finished mixing it. I'm gonna take this off and put it in the sink. You guys can kind of see, it looks like a cake mix, like brownie batter, cake mix, so it's not super thick. It's not super thick like a cookie dough, but if you've ever baked a cake, you guys can see that's exactly what it looks like. It's, it's not watery and runny, but it's definitely thick, but still more liquidy, I guess I would say. So now I have a muffin pan, and for your muffin pan, I used little muffin cups, so I didn't have to spray it, but if you don't have the paper muffin cups, you just wanna make sure that you spray the pan, because otherwise the muffins will stick to it. So that's super important. If I was spraying my pan, I would use pan for baking. So that way it doesn't give it like an olive -y oil taste to it, but instead it's just kind of like a flour that you're putting on the pan to make sure everything doesn't stick. But today I'm going with the muffin cups. So the next piece is gonna be to scoop it into each little container. I like to use this handy dandy little scoop so I don't have to get my spoons dirty, I guess. It's gonna be a challenge, let's see. And then I know they're all the same. So I'm gonna just fill each little cup. And when you fill these, it's important, you'll notice I didn't fill it all the way up, but instead you wanna think about always filling it about two thirds full because they're gonna expand and you don't want them to expand so big that they completely overfull. So two thirds is always my rule. All right, once I filled it up, so this made 12 and then I still have a little bit left. So I'll probably have a solid 16 to 18 muffins with this recipe. I like the mini chocolate chips. You don't have to use the mini chocolate chips, but basically what I'm gonna do is you could mix them in, but they all kind of fall to the bottom. So I like to wait until I put the batter into the recipe, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle, oops, that one's gonna have a lot of chocolate. Um, let's do this. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit into each, each thing. So once I put the chocolate chips on them, I'm gonna mix them in each muffin cup. You can choose to do this however you want, but I just wanted them to all have at least a little bit of chocolate 
and when I mixed it into the batter originally, it all falls to the bottom, and I felt like it was not evenly distributed at all. So I'll finish putting the chocolate chips on, and then I'll show you how I mix it. All right, so now I'm just gonna mix some of the chocolate chips in. You don't have to do this, you could leave them on top, but I think it's best to have chocolate in the muffin, not just on top of the muffin. It's super simple, it doesn't require a whole lot, just kind of swirl it around. And I'm actually really excited because today is my dad's birthday. He turned 61 today. Happy birthday, dad, if you're watching. And I'm gonna take these to, we're gonna go play top golf tonight. And I'm gonna take these as a surprise to him. So now all the chocolate's done, everything's mixed together. They smell delicious already. I can't wait till they're baked. So I'm gonna pop them in the oven, 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake them for 12 to 15 minutes. I always air on the lower side first. So I'm gonna set it for 12, and then I'm gonna tap them, make sure they kind of bounce back and they don't still feel runny. If they bounce back, you know they're done. I always go for the lower side to make sure I don't overcook them. So let's pop them in the oven. All right guys, they're done. Let's see how they look. Look awesome, oh my gosh. Okay, so my test, I always like to hit them. So it's not, they kind of bounce back to where you wanna make sure you don't overcook them because with this warm pan, they're gonna continue cooking just for another minute or two. So it's always good to take them out slightly earlier. I cooked these for 12 minutes exactly. I'm really excited. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on the recipe or if there's something you need to substitute, feel free to drop that in the comments. If there's any other recipes you guys wanna see, like I mentioned earlier, Pat and I will bring you our famous chili. It's not really famous and it's also, it's, it's delicious. Um, or some of the other stuff that we make regularly as the season shift in our off season in our, so as the season shift as in fall, spring, summer, but also our training season shifts as well. So meal prep will look a little bit differently. But thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you want that pumpkin spice protein, check out the link in the bio and have a great day.